I'm your host, John Palachuk, and what we're going to be doing on here, we're going to be reviewing a movie, but also we're going to be going over the premises and the layout of the show, because I really didn't explain that in the first show. Okay, now the, the way I run this show is like this. I watch a gang of films each week, okay? I watch about maybe 15 movies, maybe probably more a week. But uh, what I do is before I watch one film, I pick it for the show, and that's the film that I review. It's not like I'm just, and I have to pick it before I watch it. It's not like I'm just picking films at random, like, oh, I'm going to watch this. So I pick a film before I watch it. Um, it's not after. I've never seen the film before so that I have new thoughts on it. So that's mainly it. Now, the blood splat thing, you already know how that works. There's one to ten blood splats. You already know the films. You already know everything. Now, what we're going we're gonna to be doing an older film this week because next week it's going to be another new movie. But and the movie that we're going to be reviewing this week is Mother's Day. Darlings, you have made your mother very proud. Okay, now the film was a trauma film. It was directed by Lloyd Kaufman's brother. Charles Kaufman. Now, it was really, really good, especially for a trauma film. It's probably up there for one of the better trauma movies. And the the reason that it was good is because the story was pretty original. The story is mainly just that three girls who really haven't seen each other in a really long time decide to have this annual camping trip every year. Well, this year, the camping trip, they go up where this deranged family run by the crazed killer mother captures them. And the rest of the film is history. Now the film itself was really good. I thought the writing was pretty good for a trauma movie. The special effects were really cool. I'm going to show you a couple special effects scenes right here that I really enjoyed. Roll the clips. Thanks. Now we're back, and um, another thing I liked was the um, killers. The killers were very original. First of all, the mother was original, and also what was original was the masks. The masks in the film were cool. The one guy had like the pilot hat on, and the other guy had, like a beehive mask. It was like friggin' nuts. Okay, so overall, I'm going to give the film seven, a solid seven out of ten blood splats. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, now we're back. Also, what I wanted to say about all this was this. Um, or we could also review short films. If you're on YouTube and you have short films up and you would like them to be reviewed on here, I reviewed them according to short like DV films. I won't record them up to the bigger films that are out today. You could easily send them to me and maybe if I like them, I'll post them. And I'll, I'm going to do a short film segment of the, of the episode every day at the end of it. Well, every week. And um, if you send your film to me, it will probably get reviewed and I can also do more than one short film review because of the short films and uh, what I also could do is post a URL to your film where to go and see it all you gotta do is subscribe to me and send me the video in a comment or a mail on YouTube thank you very much please come back for the next episode which will be Full Moon's new film Dead Man's Hand